way too many times. Oh yeah, he's pretty frozen up. So this is the sucky part because sometimes you can't unscrew this bloody thing. So there's a slot in the back of the motor shaft that's designed to receive a slotted flat regular screwdriver. And I recommend using a large screwdriver so you have a lot of torque. Okay. Ready? Yeah. The difficult part is removing this part of the seal and not damaging this plastic. The plastic has threads inside and if you pry against between the porcelain seal and this plastic you'll crush this part of the plastic and you'll destroy the impeller and you have to order a new one. You don't have to remove them, you just loosen them. You just loosen them. They're keyed. There's a keyhole, so you loosen them and just rotate the front of the pump housing and it should disengage from the motor face. There's your corrosion from the leaking seal. Might not be able to get him off yeah, either. That's a slinger. This is called a slinger and it's designed to stop water. When the, when the seal fails, water is going to, by capillary action, travel down the shaft. The idea is when it hits the slinger, the centripetal force of the turning motor will sling the water off and keep it from entering the motor, causing failure of the bearing. Otherwise, you know how it goes back together again. So this is the motor fan protection housing that I'm removing. And if I do it this way, I don't have to take the, the slinger off. This guy is I used a plastic fan motor. Those crimps are what holds this motor face on. So we're going to undo the crimps, and that will allow us to remove the motor face. So now, this comes out, and there's your bearing. Put it on here like this. I'm kind of going to kill that damn dog across the street. Can you hold that up? Okay, so this guy. There we go. So there's your crusty bearing. So it appeared to me that you got water in the ass end of your motor somehow. Went all the way down. I ran out of depth before I got there. Oh, that's nice now. your seal. Small bead. You don't want too much. Pipe fitting to set this because the pipe fitting fits over the, the, the carbon and sits on just the rim and allows you to seat that without applying any pressure to the seal face. You can never touch the seal face. So it's not quite as critical. You just don't want to get finger oil on it. This guy. There's a little cross thread fairly easily. 